divisible by 4. If the number formed by the last two digits of a number is divisible by 4, then the original number is divisible by 4. Also, a number ending with two zeros is always divisible by 4. For example, is 816 divisible by 4? Okay, we're going to look at the last two digits. Okay, the last two digits is 16. So, 16 divided by 4, the answer is equal to 4. So, 816 is divisible by 4. Another one. Is 200 divisible by 4? Okay, yes, because it ends with two zeros. Another one. Is 53,923 divisible by 4? Okay, we're going to look at the last two digits. Okay, 23. 23 is a multiple of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Oh, 23 is not there. So, 23 is not a multiple of 4, and 23 is not divisible by 4. So, 53,923 is not divisible by 4. Okay, next is divisibility rule for 8. Okay, how do we know that a number is divisible by 8? If the number formed by the last 3 digits of a number is divisible by 8, then the original number is divisible by 8. Also, a number ending with 3 zeros is always divisible by 8. Okay, for example, is 12,184 is divisible by 8? Okay, the last 3 digits of 12,184 are 184. So, we're going to divide that one. 184 divided by 8. The answer is equal to 23. Therefore, 12,184 is divisible by 8. Another example. Is 8,000 divisible by 8? All right. Yes, because it ends with 3 zeros. Okay, it says here that. And also, a number ending with 3 zeros is always divisible by 8. Okay, another one. Is 85,455 divisible by 4? Okay, no, because 455 is not divisible by 8. Okay, next is divisibility rule for 12. How do we know that a number is divisible by 12? A number is divisible by 12 if a number is divisible by both 3 and 4. So, for example, is 384 divisible by 12? Okay, let's try to check. First is we're going to add all the digits to check whether that is divisible by 3. Okay, 3 plus 8, the answer is 11, plus 4, the answer is equal to 15. It's 15, a multiple of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So it means that 15 is a multiple of 3. 15 divided by 3, the answer is equal to 5. So, 384 is divisible by 3. How about 4? Let's try to check whether this number is divisible by 4. 84 divided by 4. Okay, divisibility rules for 4. We're going to look at the last two digits. Okay, 84. Is that divisible by 4? Yes. We get the correct uh, the answer of 21. So therefore, 384 is divisible by 12 because it is both divisible by 3 and 4. Okay, another example. Is 34,500 divisible by 12? So let's try to check whether this number first is divisible by 3. Okay, how do we know that a number is divisible by 3? We're going to add all the digits. Okay, that is 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 0 plus 0. The answer is equal to 12. So, 12 is a multiple of 3. Okay, let's try to check. 3, 6, 9, 12. So, 12 is a multiple of 3. Okay, next is... We're going to look at the last two digits. 4, divisibility rule for 4. 
So, it ends with two zeros and it is said that if a number ending in two zeros, then that is always divisible by 4. So, 34,500 is divisible by 12 because it is both divisible by 3 and 4. Okay, next is divisibility rule for 7. Take the last digit of the number, double it, and subtract the doubled number from the remaining number. If the result is evenly divisible by 7 or 0, then the number is divisible by 7. This can be repeated. Okay, to make it easier, let's try this example. Is 2,492 divisible by 7? Okay. 2,492. Okay, they said that we're going to take the last digit. Okay. We're going to double or we're going to multiply it by 2. Okay. 2 times 2, the answer is equal to 4. Then, subtract the answer from the remaining digits. Okay, the remaining digits is 249 minus 4. Okay, 9 minus 4, the answer is equal to 5. Just bring down 4 and 2. Then again, 245 is still a big number. We can double the last digit again. 5 times 2, the answer is equal to 10. Subtract it from the remaining digits. 24 minus 10 is equal to 14. So 14 now is a smaller number. And we're going to evaluate whether that is divisible by 7. Is 14 divisible by 7? Yes. Okay, that is 14 divided by 7. The answer is equal to 2. So, 2,492 is divisible by 7. Okay, another example. Is 3,157 divisible by 7? Okay. We said that we're going to take... The last digit. Okay, the last digit is 7. Double the last digit. We are going to multiply it by 2. Okay, 7 times 2, the answer is equal to 14. Subtract it from the remaining digits. Okay, 5 minus 4, the answer is 1. 1 minus 1, the answer is 0. And bring down 3. Then still, it is a big number. We can double the last digit again. Repeat the process. 1 times 2, the answer is equal to 2. 30 minus 2, the answer is equal to 28. So now, 28 is a smaller number. Let's try to check whether this number is divisible by 7. Okay, 28 divided by 7, the answer is equal to 4. So, 3,157 is divisible by 7. Okay, guys, next is divisibility rule for 11. How do we know that a number is divisible by 11? A number is divisible by 11 if the difference of the sum of the digits in the odd places and the sum of those in the even places is 0 or divisible by 11. Do you understand? Oh, a little bit complicated. I know it. So let's have an example. Okay, for example, is 583 divisible by 11? Okay, we're going to look at the digits. Okay, this is the first digit, second digit, and the third digit. Okay, it is said here, odd places. Okay, odd places are the first and the third digit. So, the even places are... We have only here one even place. Okay, that is only the second digit. So, we're going to add... The first and the third digit. Okay, that is 5 plus 3. The answer is equal to 8. Then it is said, said here that we're going to get the difference. Okay, the difference of odd and even place. So, the even place here is 8. So, we're going to subtract it by 8. 8 minus 8. The answer is equal to 0. So, if, uh, you, if you get an answer of 0, it means that... This number, 583, is divisible by 11. Okay, another example. Is 2,845 divisible by 11? So, we have here four digits. So, we have a partner by partner. So, the first partner is 5 and 8. This is in the add places. 
Another one is 4 and 2 in the even place. Okay, we're going to add 8 plus 5. 8 plus 5, the answer is equal to 13. Then take the difference, we're going to subtract. 2 plus 4, the answer is equal to 6. Then 13 minus 6, the answer is equal to 7. Then we're going to evaluate whether 7 is divisible by 11. Of course, that is not. And so our answer is not 0, so 2,000. Thank you.